Hey everybody, it's Bob. Welcome to the channel. Uh, joining me in kind of mid, or mid drive here to end my Tesla Model Y. I uh, just got uh, version 14 installed this morning. I uh, put out a video this morning of my first drive and first reaction to having uh, version 14. So um, what we're going to do in this video really is to kind of show you how uh, test or how FSD is able to park at its destinations. Um, so I got a set up for uh, basically two destinations, one being uh, the, our, my local Sam's Club. Um, so bigger parking lot, trying to find a parking spot in there, and then we'll leave the Sam's Club and we will head home to get it to park in my driveway and, and maybe our garage. We'll see. Um, but we're here on Interstate 25 in Colorado Springs right now. Uh, we got about a mile and a half before we get off the interstate and we get to Sam's. Uh, so that's kind of where we're going to start right now um, with this video. <clears throat> so run inversion. See here. 14.1.3, like I said, just got it this morning. So I got to test it out on my way to work this morning. Um, you can see that video from today on my channel. Um, a lot happened there as uh, during that drive. Is, you know, a few little quirks and uh, uh, getting over for a fire truck, some traffic on the interstate and things like that. But like I said, the focus of today is that FSD will now park for you. Uh, so really uh, full self-driving now in Teslas with this newer version that's come out um, over the past couple weeks is really a point A to point B true uh, self-driving vehicle um, at that point. So like I said, we're approaching Sam's. Um, the destination at destination is set to park and park in the parking lot as well. Um, this morning we were looking at this and there was options for like park at the charger. And it's funny because this Sam's does have chargers. They're not Tesla chargers. Um, they're Electrify America chargers. So but it's funny that that's not an option necessarily um, here but you can also choose curbside um, as your destination in terms of where you want to park so more of like the robo taxi kind of style we looked at that um, in the release notes today we're running here in standard as well and then we're set to park at a in the parking lot so we'll park in the parking lot here at sam's and then we'll go ahead and head home it's a few miles down the road uh, not too far so this won't be a terribly long video uh, so stay through through the whole thing. Um, hopefully we'll be able to park in the driveway and even more hopeful that we might even park in the garage. I don't know. Um, and I'll explain once we get home kind of what my garage kind of looks like or the setup that we have here. So we've gotten off the interstate and right up here on the right is Sam's. Right? It's no Costco parking lot. Maybe we'll experiment, experiment with that one day as well. Um, this morning we parked in, at Safeway. It was early in the morning, not a lot of traffic. This is about um, you know four o'clock in the afternoon <coughs> at Sam's big box store. So there should be a lot of traffic. I'm kind of curious where it's gonna, uh, where it's gonna park, because I do have the spot I like to park at. Um, but as we're getting there, it was funny. Right before I turned the video on or started recording, um, the car there was this car in front of me that started blowing black smoke and. FSD reacted almost kind of like to get around the black smoke a little bit, staying within the lane. Um, so I really wish I would have caught that on camera, but unfortunately we were not recording yet. But here we are. We're in the little shopping center area where Sam's is at. Someone just squeaked the tires uh, where Sam's is at. So Sam's is right up here. We'll pull up to it and then hopefully find us a parking spot. And then we'll start FSD again and head home and then park in our driveway. And I'll show you, and that's an option too. Once we get to that, I'll show you. Um, and full stops, especially because man, the green light, but that car from the left there, you probably couldn't see that didn't have its blinker on. Um, so we got a little four way stop action up here. So you got Sam's on the left, Walmart on the, on the right. knows who should be going the good thing with fsd it knows how to do a four-way stop human drivers a lot of times do not know how to do a four-way stop but that's okay that's why we have but yeah we just passed the electrify america charger so it's funny that that wasn't a um an option if you watch my video this morning either going to work that was an option because we have a charger at our school or then we stopped at Ace hardware there was supposedly a charger there i don't know where I've never seen one in that parking lot, but there are chargers, Electrify America chargers. So that can be an option. 
So it is going to go start finding a parking spot now, now that we are at Sam's. Obviously, we got traffic right here. Wants to go, really wants to go down this lane, which is funny. Nope, it's going to go down a different lane now. Good, because that car was in the middle. So it's using its neural engine more so to find a parking spot. So which parking spot are we going to go for? Ooh, yeah, there we go. Come on, that car's trying to back out. It's funny. So found its parking spot, and we are good to go. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to let that car go ahead. So that's going to Sam's, finding a parking spot. Kind of curious if it's going to take us straight out of here, but now we're going to head home. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just tap it. You don't have to hold it anymore, which is great. Ooh. I was like, that car's back, that car's back now. So we're going to stop. <laughs> so there's your little hang up there. We're going to try that again. Let her back out. So one little quirk right there. Nope. There's cars coming. Very eager to get going, though. I'm like, there's cars behind me, so. <laughs> People are going to think I'm a jerk. We're going to drive once I get out of here. Can't get past that. Let's go back up again. There's people behind or to the left of me in front of looking at me like I'm crazy. That's fine. We're going to pull up the cameras now, too, um, as we're making this drive with FSD. So we're headed home. So I'm going to pop that down. Okay. Destination is home right now. And so. At my destination, I have options here. Oops. Go ahead. It's a little bit more aggressive though right now, especially in these parking lots. Like there's obviously cars or people crossing there coming out of the store. Um, anyway, so we want the driveway. So you have parking lot, street, driveway, charger, parking garage. Just funny because again, my destination is set to home earlier when it was set to home. Like, calm the fuck down. Damn. She's like going crazy back there because I didn't go and she should have gone. Don't pay attention to her. Sorry if I cussed a little bit. Um. So we will see. Yeah, so there was a, like, earlier when I had this in, there was not that many for home being my destination. Um. But we have it set for the driveway. We'll make sure even too once we get closer. That is set for the driveway. And we'll hopefully pull in and I'll have the garage open and we'll see if it pulls into the garage. But we got about just six minutes to go down the road here. But it's nice that finally, you know, you go to previously in version 13, you would say, I'm going to let's say Sam's, Costco, Walmart, wherever. Um, and it would basically pull you right up to the front door of those stores and then turn off. Um, beforehand, there was one time, and there's a video out there on my channel. I can't remember. Maybe I'll try to if I remember to link it. Um, where I was, it, once or twice, I was able to get it to pull into a parking spot. Uh, but now, obviously, these are set um, in these um, as options when in terms of your destination that you wanted to pull into a park or into the parking lot you know, into a driveway, into a parking garage, whatever it might be, a charger. Um, I do have a charger at home, so maybe that's why. See, now it changed a little bit more. So as we're going parking lot, street, driveway. Charger was an option, and the home was the set to the destination. I do have a, a Tesla wall or charger in my garage. Yeah, we can go, though. Stop. This lady behind me is going to get pissed. That we're not going. It says right on red after stop. And it usually knows that. I'm going to force it. So I gave it a little bit of encouragement there. People turn into their proper lanes. Um, there's also a spot up here I'm going to hopefully want to test out. Um, She's impatient. 
but whatever. Um, a spot up here where it gets into the turn lane when it needs to stay in this left lane and go straight. Um, I've sent a lot of feedback to Tesla about it, so we're going to see if it does it. Hopefully it's been fixed. If it gets over, hopefully it gets back over quicker because a lot of times it waits to almost the bitter end and it's like, what, what are we doing here? Um, And then, like I said in my video this morning, tomorrow I'll have some more content out too. I'm headed up to Denver tomorrow, so I'm going to at one point in the afternoon take it through downtown Denver, get a little stress test out of it uh, with version 14 in a very busy city, busy downtown area. Um, you know, kind of loop us around that area as well. So, yeah, where she turned up there is where it typically lies. So it doesn't usually do it here. So these two lanes... The one we're in and the one to the right of me go straight into the neighborhood. These ones get onto the state highway that are over on the left side. And so past this light, it likes to get over up here. Um, I've sent feedback. It did it literally yesterday. Um, I didn't have version 14 yet. I was still on 13.2.9. Now we're on 14.1.3. So I don't know if version 14 is going to help this out or the feedback's been working. I don't know because I left feedback yesterday, but I've also left feedback multiple times so about it. So we shall see because here we go. Usually it'll start doing it and get into these lanes right here, but it's not. So that's good. So either the feedback has worked for multiple times, but like I said, I just left feedback yesterday or version 14 is better now. And it knows not to get over. So I'm going to keep watching that when I come from this way. And see if that has been fixed or not. Or do I need to keep leaving feedback? We'll see. We're going to go full screen here. Because um, again, we're making sure we are set to go into the driveway. Um, at my destination, which is my house. So hopefully... We'll do that and we'll see if that getting into the garage because we have a three car garage. My wife parks in the bigger spot or the bigger two car garage area. And then my garage where I keep this car is basically on its own or it's, its own garage. In a very tight spot to get into, I really got to get in. So I don't know if I really trust this to to pull it into the to, to the garage itself. But let's get it at least into the driveway, which is going to be good. Excuse me. All right, little kid up here on his bike. Hopefully, he doesn't dart out. But I mean, so far, not even what this is the second drive with. Uh, Version 14 has been pretty good. Couple, I mean, there's quick reactions, and I know I've seen this in some of the early adopter videos that have come out of like these quick little reactions. Um, I didn't catch any on camera, I don't think, in my drive this morning, but I have seen it a couple times. Um, so we are coming up on the house, so we will be pulling into the driveway. I'm going to open the garage as well as we get closer. Let's see if it can pull into my driveway. Here we go. So that's the garage I park in. Um, but it did not pull in there. But it pulled right into driveway and stop so um thanks for coming along for the ride that's kind of the, the you know the idea of uh, tesla self-parking itself um it did not pull into the garage today but maybe we'll get it to do it um a couple other times as well so i will kind of show you here so you gotta give it a good little turn to get it into this garage so but i don't know if i necessarily trust it yet but it did pull into the driveway so that's that's positive so there you go. Tesla can self-park itself now. Um, if you like what you've seen, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.